Alright guys, welcome back to Fragments Revisited and this is going to be I believe part 2 and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through the fragment life cycle so if I actually go to my uh, file explorer and onto my google drive here you can see here I have uh, lots of stuff we're going to cover, oh great Windows 8 is marvellous isn't it hang on a minute actually you know it's actually not bad like that so there's our fragment uh, life cycle now we're gonna we need to understand this a little bit how does the fragment work what does it actually do how do the callbacks work so remember we did the activity life cycle where it went through like on create on start on resume on pause on stop on destroy remember we did that before well the fragment life cycle is a little bit different okay so we're going to go through that in this video so the first thing we need to do is we need to make a fragment so what we're going to do is we're going to create our new file actually better just verify something here android tools add support library yes we have to add the support library first yep accept install i'm zipping in okay that's very very important that we add that library if we don't add that all hell will break loose because then we don't have access to fragments on older devices so our super class is going to be the fragment remember to pick android support v4.app done and we're going to call this our elements list fragment okay finish okay so we've got our fragment in job done now we're going to go back to our main activity and this needs to be altered here if you're using fragments in an older version of android you have to use the fragment activity and the reason for this is very simple I just pre now how I got rid of that there was um, I press Control shift O which is a shortcut on Eclipse to just do imports the reason you have to use fragment activity is because the normal activity for Android 2.2 which is what we're developing our app the minimum our app can run on our stand we're gonna make it run on Android 4.2 but we want it to be backwards compatible you have to do this okay treat activity just a fragment activity just like a fragment or just like a normal activity it's just like that so what we're going to do here is, we're going to show you another shortcut here, I've used this before, I might have shown you this, but we're going to add all our callbacks. So we're going to go down here to source, and I'd, if I don't show you this, you go to imp override implement methods, and you get this thing here up, this big, this massive list of view things. So what we're going to do is we're going to create unattach, on create, we're going to go through all the fragments, so unattach, on create, on create view. Um, on activity created okay and then we're going to go to on start on pause on pause we're not going to go through on resume actually we will go through on resume okay on stop on destroy on detach Ah, yes, it's on destroy view as well. Okay. <laughs> so essentially what we've done is we've just put in a massive pile of methods into our activity. And these are all mixed up now at the moment. But what we're going to do is we're going to very quickly make a logger here. And I'm going to show you the fragment lifecycle. So we're going to create a log file, a log.i tag. We're actually going to create our string tag up here. tag equals this dot get class dot get simple name that just gets the name of the class in an activity it's just a little thing I do and what we're going to do is we're just going to create I'm going to do this for all the methods down low so on activity created on attach on create and this will allow us to uh, monitor the log cat and I'm going to show you how the fragment interacts with the activity because the fragment don't forget um, a fragment is a miniature activity or a sub activity in an activity is how I like to think of it but essentially fragments are 100% self-contained chunks of UI 
in the code itself. So, yeah, so fragment is, you know, its own little UI section. It has a list view, it handles its list clicks, and then can then be positioned differently around the uh, video or around the file itself. So just put all these in and work our way back up along. Making use of uh, control C, control V very heavily. Man, I have a fucking throbbing head at the moment. <sighs> Bang my head earlier and I'm really in a lot of pain at the moment. Anyway, so we've done that for our uh, for our fragment and we're gonna do the same for main activities. So we're just gonna add all our different callbacks. So once again, source, implement override methods, uh, fragment activity, so on destroy. Now here you look, you can have unattach fragment. We're not gonna actually put that in. Yeah, so on destroy, on pause, on resume, on start, on stop. And that's all we really need to use. It's just to give you an idea of what the hell is going on here. So we're just gonna copy and paste our tag string. Because this, this tag string is universal from activity to activity. And we're just gonna copy this. Remember, each one of these um, you need to call super. You need, you need to call the super class. So as we did the life cycle before, we're actually going to get our log hat is going to be filled with different sections of what's actually happening here. So let's run it. I know we don't we haven't actually got anything. So we've got our fragment here done, okay? Ready to go. Our fragment in. We don't have a view for the fragment. We really should have a view for the actual fragment itself. So we'll very quickly make that up. In fact, you know what we'll do? We'll use the activity main view, okay? So we're supposed to return a view here, okay? Um, something that you need to return as a view. So we're gonna create view, view equals layout, inflator, or the inflator it's just called, dot inflate, or dot layout, dot main activity, um, view group container, I believe is container. Don't need to do that. And false, I believe that's, yeah, that's the uh, correct callbacks. So let's run this project. I'm gonna run it as an Android application. I have the Nexus 7. <laughs> we still have the um, the tutorial from a few, the stuff from a few tutorials ago still on the Nexus 7, I never got rid of it. Okay, so we've got it here, okay? Main activity coming up as that. Where's our fragment? Well, we never added our fragment, did we? We surely didn't. Because we didn't add the actual fragment itself, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our main activity, okay? I'm gonna delete this hello world, or we don't need, we can't delete that. Yeah, we'll delete hello world, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into layouts, and you're gonna see this here, fragment. You can embed, we can modify fragments in code to do dynamic views, or we can modify them in XML. So imagine you've got a tablet and you want two fragments side by side, you can do that easily. And then you can uh, organize the proportions depending on different things. So I'm just gonna align our fragment in there. And here's our elements list fragment, and we're in. So we're just gonna make that fill the view. So there's our fragment ready to go. So we're gonna create a new, uh, very quickly create a new layout. And we're just gonna call it elements list. And we're gonna make it a relative layout. Ah, oh, crap. Yep. Oh, must start a lowercase letter. Blah. Elements list. Fragment, actually we call it. 
Okay, next, finish. Okay, so we're going to modify this here to just uh, use the elements, elements list fragment uh, XML file. So now we've got that. So I've got a relative layer. We're just going to drop in a large text view. We're going to line it in the center. And we're going to edit the text to just be hello world. In fact, we'll make a new string. We'll just call this um, list of elements goes here. And then we'll just call this list string. Okay. Okay. So now we should see this happen. So what's gonna what what do you, what's gonna happen? Well, the main activity is gonna load up. Now I'm gonna zoom out the uh, view here at this point or somewhere around this point so you can see what's going on. But we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna look at the log cat down here. I'm actually gonna drag the log cat up a little bit. So as you can see here, the main activity created start on resume as you would expect for the activity lifecycle. But what's gonna happen is at certain points. Because we now have a fragment in our activity, at certain points the fragment is going to get stuck in here. So it's going to be like fragment on attach, fragment on detach. And we'll show you doing that now in a second. So we'll run this on the emulator. And it'll take a second for it to load up and we'll see what happens. As you can see our old view came up so we'll just uh, go home. Okay. What the devil has appeared? Okay, so if we look at this here, look. We've got on create, on attach, on create, on create, view, on start. So as you can see, the fragments lifecycle is tied to the activities lifecycle that it's in. So the activity creates, and it's fully created, view is ready to go. It then attaches the uh, fragments in from its view, so it's loaded up its view and it goes, whoa, fragment load it load it so the fragment loads up it creates its thing it creates its view so the fragments now fully loaded in our in our gadget or in our activity then the activity starts then the activity is fully created and working correctly okay for the the fragments that have calls back that then the frag then the fragment is started after the activity so it kind of follows in the footsteps of the activity then the activity resumes and the elements list fragment resumes. So how am I going to show you how it breaks itself down? Well, if we press Control F11, we rotate our emulator. And another mountain of stuff has come up in our log cat. So it goes through on pause. The fragment stops. The fragment, the uh, activity is destroyed, OK? The activity destroys itself. Okay, then the elements fragment goes, I have no activity. Destroy it, just delete that, delete all those views, get rid of all the crap on the screen. Then, okay, I better go, I've destroyed myself. Okay, bye bye activity, and then it detaches itself from the activity altogether. Then what happens is the whole lot's rebuilt again, back up from scratch to this here. So essentially, the, uh, the activity creates. It then pulls in the fragments, the, the uh, UI sections or little chunks of UI into it and then it blows it all out again when it goes to rotate. That's actually what happens when you rotate on Android. It uh, completely wipes the screen, destroys everything from the, the bottom down and then rebuilds it all back up again. So that's that. That's how we do the elements list fragment. And that's the fragment lifecycle tutorial guys. You'll see this more apparently in later videos. So before we finish up this, we're actually just going to get rid of all these callbacks here because we don't need them. And to be quite honest, we only need a few callbacks. The uh, view on create. Uh, we'll just get rid of all this on activity create. So we're just going to get rid of all this crap. And uh, we're going to get rid of our log here. Okay, you know, we'll leave we'll leave that there. It could be useful. Okay. And then we're going to go to main activity and get rid of on destroy on pause on resume on start and stuff. We don't need all that crap either because it's just going to fill up the life cycle. That, those activities, we only overrode them to put in new things. So that's that. That's how the uh, fragment itself behaves with the life cycle. And it's pretty cool how it all behaves and how it all works together. 
So the next video guys, we're actually gonna start building up our list views for the fragments and we're gonna go through what we're actually going to do with this. So guys, if you haven't already and you're enjoying my tutorials, comment if you can think of ways I can improve. If you want, you can, um, you know, you can, if you want to request something, send a message, leave a comment, like, subscribe, favorite possibly, tell your friends. <laughs> but anyway, guys, as always, see yous. I'll be back with the next part of Fragments Revis Revisited.